cold this weekend so I don't know if everybody's gonna want to get out but we'll see but they need some puppy food and you guys know I keep missing the Friday and Saturday only deals at Kroger's every week I keep missing them and there's not been a Friday freebie for like two weeks and today there is one of course it's candy but hey it's still free but it's those sweet tart ropes and those are good they've had those at Dollar Tree I really want to touch up my makeup now that's driving me nuts can't reach my work bag that has my makeup in it. This guy behind me, I think, wants around me. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Aha! Makeup bag. This is from Dollar Tree. I love the little velour. Blue little velour. I wish it was pink or purple, but we'll go with it. So, yes. So, I'm going to Kroger's. There's just not a Kroger's like right next to me. I have to drive to one or two other suburbs to get to a Kroger's. Anyway. So I'm going over here. I'm out of puppy food, even though the puppy should be going to their home. I think we're still got one. Um, so I'm still going to buy another small little bag of puppy food. And I'm going to see if I can hit some of those Friday, Saturday deals. I think they have butter on sale. They've got smoked sausage on sale, which Nick loves. And they've got this Tupperware set. And I think on all of those, you can use them five times. I don't need five things of Tupperware, but I definitely need some more. So... And I think the Tupperware is really going to go. It's like 18 pieces for $4.99. So that's what we're going to go see. So then after that, I'm going to go home. I'm going to stay there for a little bit, let dogs in, let dogs out, clean up, feed some puppies. And uh, then I'm going to leave. And I want to go to Big Lots. I need to go hit a Walmart. I've got some things I need to do. So I figured what we'll do is I'll just add that little chit-chatty vlog yesterday to this and we will just go run my errands and stuff and then i'll show you everything that i get at the end and hopefully i can get all that done and get this uploaded this weekend and then sit down and do a haul for you guys i also need to while i don't have nick with me <coughs> i need to go find nick some valentine something for valentine's day i don't do a whole lot and if my oldest son was somewhere where i could actually mail him something I would send him something, but I think he is going to get back to a base next week. Later next week, maybe I can send him something then. Who knows? We'll see. If not, I'll make up for it when he comes home. But, um, yeah. I'm about to go in Croker's. It's right there, so let me go see what I can find, and then I'll pop back on when I'm doing something else. Okay? See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, here is what I bought at Kroger's. I got the Rubbermaid 18-piece, you know, Tupperware set here. I thought that was a really good deal for $4.99. Um, and then I got some Greek yogurt. I actually give this to the dogs. It helps with their digestive. That's my freebie, the Sweet Tart Ropes. And then I got the Eckridge Smoked Sausage. I got a couple turkey, a couple of regular ones. Um, Nick really loves it. I got four of those, yes, four. And then I got the butter. I got two of the butter. And then uh, we got this cinnamon roll thing. There was only four in there. We made that for breakfast Saturday. I got some shredded cheese. We move over here. That is the dog food I came in here to actually get. Look here, a coupon on there. I saved three bucks, yay! And then I got some meat. They had some meat on Woohoo. I got some lean ground beef. And then I got these uh, boneless something or another beef there. And then I also got some apple juice. Uh, I got some Peach Minute Maid and some Tropical Punch, I think, or Rare Fruit Punch Minute Maid. Um, I also picked up, that's not in here, some fajita meat that was on sale. 
um, that was on a woohoo. But this is everything that I got just popping in, hitting the uh, Saturday, Friday, Saturday deals. I think it's not too bad. It's dark, huh? Does that help? That one, maybe? We'll go with it. Sorry if it's extremely yellow or orange or something weird. Oh, okay. Obviously, it's later in the day. Uh, let's see. What has been happening since I chatted with you last? I went to Kroger's. I'm tired. I should get a coffee, but uh, probably won't. I need water. I went to... Uh, Is the best body work on the sew? No, I can't tell. I went to Kroger, and you should have seen a little clip in the store of what I got. I have to voice over that because the music was so insanely loud in there. So I'm sorry if the words don't match up to the stuff. Um, I did find one more package of meat that you don't see in there. And it's a package of skirt steak that's uh, seasoned beef fajita meat. And I want to say it was like $4 for the package or something. Um, I always check the woohoos. I always check the meat department to see if they've marked meat down. Um, nothing better than saving money on meat, right? That's like the most expensive part of grocery shopping. So realistically, I'm set on meat. I don't need any more. So now I can just build my dishes around all of the meat that I have. Um, realistically, I probably could have a few more, a little bit more chicken, but I think we'll, we'll do. If I just find it dirt cheap somewhere, I'll get it. Um, so anyway, I just went to Ross, a little disappointed. You know what? I'm, I know better. The Ross over by me is just not a good Ross. I just, there's nothing in that store. There's nothing in that store. Rarely do I find something in that store that I actually like and want to purchase. And I get so frustrated because if I drive way across town and go to a different one, it's better. So, um just since I just have just a couple of hours now I'm down to probably about 45 minutes before I need to head to the school um, I just don't want to I didn't want to travel too far away so otherwise I went to you know like a Marshalls or Home Goods or something but they're just not right here um, let's see I want to go into Walmart and yeah I want to go into Walmart I'm looking for a couple of things. So I think I'm going to see what they have. So I'm going to go do that. I've got to get something to drink. I need to go get me a big giant water. And then it should be about time to go get Nick. So uh, the only other one place I really want to go that I've not been yet is Big Lots. So we may have to go do that tomorrow. So I may not finish this until tomorrow. So let me run to Walmart. If I see anything cool, I'll bring you with me. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. Hey friends, how are you doing? I'm back! And it is now Sunday. I know, I didn't finish the vlog that day. But I thought I would come back on here. I'm running errands. Look, I'm by myself and it's on a weekend. Can you imagine? Nick wanted to stay home. I didn't make him get out. I don't know if you can tell, but it is nasty. It's drizzly, dark. It's been this dark all day. It is now, I don't know the clock in my car. No, it says it's 92.54. I don't know what the crap. I don't know. But I think it's like almost 3 o'clock. Or it is 3 o'clock. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought I'd pop back on. And uh, there's just places I have to go to the grocery store and pick up a few more things. Uh, you've seen the Kroger haul. That was mostly just meat. I need to get um, yeah, eggs. And I need to get Nick some breakfast stuff. Um, I want to get some more fruit. And what else? Uh, things for sides, you know, so I'm going to pick up those few things, but the grocery stores are open late, and if I don't go to Aldi's, I can go to, uh, Winco, so I'm fine with either one, um, so I want to hit Big Lots, um, because I went there already and picked up a few things at this one, and I want to hit the other one, I want to hit a different Dollar Tree, and I want to make it out over here to Louisville, and I really want to hit, like, a Marshall's. There's no TJ Maxx or Home Goods over here, but there's Marshalls. So I want to go there. If I have time, I might run into the big giant uh, Goodwill out there. 
So I might do that. I don't know. Or I can do that first and I can make my way back. Because I think Big Lot stays open late too, right? I don't know. But I really just want to go look down the makeup aisle at Big Lots. And I went to Dollar Tree. I stopped at a different one. I'm going to show you that haul too. I may just do it all in one or I may break, may break it up in a couple of videos. So it's not, one video is not tremendously long. Um, but I stopped at a different Dollar Tree yesterday that's in a different part of town that I don't normally go to. Um, and found a few different things. So I was pretty excited about that. And I went to a Sears that was going out of business. I found out which ones are going out of business, which ones are not. So not every single solitary Sears is going out of business. There is one in my mother's part of town that is really busy store. It's There's people always in there and shopping and their store is nice and stocked. And whether you're getting um, appliances or housewares or clothes, that one's a really good, if you need to shop, you really need to go to that one. They always have really great stuff in there. So, I'm really kind of happy that that one's staying there because there are some things with Sears that I do like. Um, so, not every single solitary Sears store is shutting down. Uh, but I'll show you what I got, but mostly I got Nick some stuff. It was 60% off, um, and I'll show you when we get back. It, you know, they had some Lance Inns jeans, and I do like Sears jeans. I like the Sears brand jeans. I have three or four pair of them. They fit really nice. The skinny jeans and the regular striped jeans. My daughter-in-law likes their, I think it's called Rock and Soul. I think it's a, the Sears version of like a Miss Me or a Rock and Republic jean. She loves those. And it's like a quarter of the price of a Miss Me jean. So, and they look, they look nice. They look nice on her. So, um, none of those. One pair. I found one pair in the store and they were like a two or something. So, um, not not a lot in the women's department. They did have a few pieces of furniture there, but it was very like odd mix and match stuff and I'm wanting new furniture. But um, yeah, nothing that I, I could have wanted. A few appliances, but they weren't really like rock bottom prices. Um, yeah, so yeah, this morning I got up and I scrubbed the area where the puppies have been. I'm down to three puppies. I had five, I'm down to three. Um, so I know one, I have one little girl and two boys. I know the one little girl has a home. The two boys, yeah, I don't know. Nick's really wanting to keep one of the boys. I really don't, but I don't know. We'll see. We might keep him for a little while. Maybe if my daughter-in-law and son want him, maybe they can assume him when, you know, my son gets home and everything. He does have a dog that's a little up there in age. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. But, I moved everything out of this area. This has been a holding area of things uh, that I have never unpacked that are going to be moved whenever we do move back into our house. Um, it has became a collection point for just random crap. So, it looks like, looks like crap. So, I got back there. I pulled a bunch of stuff out. I took a bunch of stuff outside. So, it'll go on the curb when the trash comes this week. And I scrubbed that floor because I found where the puppies have been going to both use the bathroom that I could never find before. Oh, yeah. Gross. So, yeah. Scrubbed. Honey. Scrubbed that floor. Uh, I spent a lot of time out there cleaning. And uh, then I got up and I'm like, I'm not done. Come on. So, our washing machine broke. We haven't, my husband hasn't gotten another one to replace it yet. So, we have been going to the laundromat, girl. I hate the laundromat. But, this one that I go to is really nice. Um, it's not sketchy. They have Wi-Fi. Their machines take your credit card. There is an attendant there all of the time. And she's coming right behind you cleaning the inside of the machines out. The outside sweeping and mopping. It is a very, very nice laundromat, if there is such a thing. But, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Very clean. Machines are constantly cleaned out. All she, She's cleaning the entire time. She doesn't stop. She's cleaning the bathroom. She's cleaning the floor. She's cleaning the dryers. She's cleaning the washers. She's cleaning everything. So, I feel really good about going there. Um, so, and it's not that expensive. They have the ginormous ones where I could do everything in one load if I want, but I'm not. I'm going to separate them out. So, I did that. It takes about an hour to an hour and a half, maybe. Um, 
What sucks is the dryers only run for like eight minutes at a time. Granted, it's a quarter to dry, but really, can I just pay for like 30 minutes, you know? So, that's the only thing. The drying seems to take a while. Uh, the washers work really good and get stuff clean. I had a towel that I've been using on the dogs when they go outside because you can imagine it's a mud pit in my yard. So, I used this towel. It was soaking wet because it was in the bathroom floor. Um, and I used it to clean them off. So it was covered in mud and threw it in with the towels and stuff. And um, yeah, it's, you would never know that I used that towel on the dogs. I also really like, and I'm going to pick it up because I use the little last of it if I make it to a Dollar Tree. Um, that powder, it comes in the little short canister. Um, I don't remember who makes it. Is it awesome or somebody? And it's a, a stain lifter. Um, kind of like the Oxy, kind of a knockoff of the Oxy, a uh, little powder, and it's got a little scoop. I've been using that, and I really think that does work. Um, I mean, because, come on, I got Nick, you know, and he's always dirty. It's like a two-year-old. So, there's always dirt and stains on his clothes. So, it is one of those days, kind of like last Sunday, where I really, really could have stayed in my PJs all day, on the couch, Netflixing, and not doing nothing, but I refused. So, getting up, turned my music up loud, honey, got up, scrubbed everything, went and did the laundry, came back, put a little bit of makeup on, y'all, didn't do the hair, obviously. So, a little bit of makeup on, and, um, okay, they're on bicycles out in this nasty weather, oh, poor thing, and uh, decided to come out and run some errands and chat with you guys while I'm doing it. So, I'm just going to pop in and out of these few stores as I find stuff. Um, I'll either take you along or we'll do a big like weekend haul at the end of this video. So that's it. I'm gonna go run my errands. Enjoy my time by myself. We're over here next to uh, big lots. Can you see? No, no, can't see. Sorry. Anyway, lots of traffic. I'm gonna get off here, cross the road, go to big lots, and then I will pop on and we'll just touch base later. Have a great day. Okay, so here's what I got from Aldi's. I gotta do this real quick because I'm almost out of battery and it's quiet for once. So I got a bag of Gala apples. I got uh, the three bell peppers. I got some dried cranberries. I'm gonna put these in my oats and stuff in the morning. We got some spicy hummus. I got a bag of mandarins. I got these Swiss rolls for snacks. The uh, Caesar croutons because I didn't make my Caesar salad last week. I got some red beans and rice because we have an enormous amount of smoked sausage to fix. I got cottage cheese. I got the turkey pepperoni. I got two of these for Nick. He likes these for breakfast in the morning. Then I got some frozen mixed vegetables. I got the California mix. I got the Asian mix. And then I got some cooked shrimp for Nick. He doesn't necessarily like the fish, but he likes shrimp. So I'm going to fix him shrimp when I eat the fish. I got him some French toast sticks and the cinnamon. I also got him some marinara sauce, some barbecue sauce. This is my first time trying this. It's the Fusion Asian Wonton Soup. I'm going to take this to work tomorrow. Uh, some shells and cheese, two avocados, two cucumbers, some strawberries, grapes, eggs, and bananas. And that is the rest of my grocery haul for this week, guys. <sighs> That's it. I'm done. Y'all have a great week. Bye. Okay, these are the makeup items that I found at Big Lots. I actually had been wanting this. This is from Rimmel, and it is, can you see there? It's Highlight, Sculpt, and Blush, and does it say Golden Bronze, and this was $2.80, and then I got this CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer. And this was also $2.80. Then I got a color cover girl cheekers. And this is in Sierra Sands. It's kind of a bronzy kind of color. Really pretty. That was a dollar. And then I got these two things. Okay, let's see. Get the glare off. It is a Rimmel Insta Strobing. It's a highlighting illuminator. Um, and it says you can wear it alone or you can mix it with your foundation. And then I also got this. Oh, let's see. Oh, how much was this? This was at buck eighty. And then 
This is from Rimmel. Ooh, glare. And this is Insta Flawless. This is Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint. So like a BB cream. So this was $2. So that is uh, the makeup that I found at Big Lots. Uh, let's see. One store had more product than this. And the other one only had a couple of things. Um, so I may go back and see if I can find something else. But not too bad. Just a couple more things that I got from Big Lots I forgot to share with you. I got two of these Kodiak cakes. This one is a brownie mix, and this one is the pancake or waffle mix. These are my all-time favorites. These are protein pancakes. They're $2.50. Normally, guys, these are like $5 in the store. Uh, I make these for breakfast a lot. Half a cup is what they consider a serving, and that's 200 calories. You get three and a half grams of fat. Can you guys see that? But you have 14 grams of protein and only 7 grams of sugar. So this is the peanut butter one. I also like the dark chocolate with chocolate chip. And then I also found this face mask. It's a 3-in-1. So you've got a cleanser, a moisturizer, and then you have your paper mask. Okay, then one more makeup that I forgot to show you guys, which is this golden pink CoverGirl Cheekers. And this, again, was $1. Okay, so here is my Sears haul. I got these cute little lip glosses. Look at these. Aren't these adorable? This is a Mike and I Caribbean Punch. And then the Tootsie Row Pop. And this is cherry flavored. And then I also got this Disney Minnie Mouse lip gloss. Are these not the cutest things? And these were like 40 cents a piece. So I had to show you those. Those were close to the checkout. I couldn't leave them there. I had to get them. I should have gotten like more, but I thought they were super cute and just fun. <laughs> okay, no, I also got two pairs of shoes. So these are mine. Look how cute these are. These are Fila's and they're black with the light pink. Aren't they cute? They were normally $39 and I got them for $15. I thought these were super, super cute. I like these. <laughs> I'm sorry, the TV's up loud, guys. Okay, and then these are Everlast. These, Nick picked these out. He liked these. So they are just black, white with black, and the interior is blue. Again, these also were normally $39, and we got them for $15. Okay, also from Sears, we got Nick this jacket. Sorry, I don't know where else to get it. He's not here to model it. So it is... U.S. Polo. Do you see the inside? Oh, this is so soft, guys. And it's got a camo print at the bottom, black at the top. You probably see some dog hair on it. Uh, so we got this for 20 bucks. So I think that's a good deal. Okay, then lastly, we got three pairs of jeans. This one pair was normally $34. So these were $13. I like the wash on these. We got a light wash pair. These were $11.99. And then we got this kind of darker wash. It's kind of got that, I don't know if you can tell it, but it's got kind of a brown undertone in it. They're all like straight leg or boot cut. So all of these were, these two were $11.99. So they're the Sears brand. It's actually a really good brand. They're very durable. We had a problem with one pair that was a washed out pair and he pulled a hole right here on each side and I actually have a, like a iron on patch thing that I'm going to put on the inside so he can just kind of wear those for bumming around. My oldest son used to do the same thing too. Of course he would wear his holes and all. Nick won't. But see you can see maybe you can kind of see some of that wear on that. So that is what we got from Sears. Um, and I think that is about all I'm going to show you. Anything else we'll do in another haul. Oh, so that's it. That's my weekend haul, guys. I hope you guys have a great week. See you soon. Bye.